Next topic natin is about uh, normal normal stress. So for example, meron tayong problem, a hollow steel tube with an inside diameter of uh, 100 mm. So diameter inside is equal to So sulat muna natin yung given. So, diameter inside is equal to uh, 0 0.1 meter. Must carry a tensile load of 400 kilonewton. Na, uh, denoted by uh, force P dun sa figure. P is equal sa uh, uh, 400 times 10 raised to 3 newton. Determine the outside diameter if the stress is limited to uh, 120. 120 mega newton. So 120 times 10 raised to 6 uh, newton meter squared so uh, yung area is unknown given lang yung diameter so paano ba magkuha ng uh, area ng circle given yung diameter so area ng circle is equal sa pi over 4 uh, d squared So, meron binigay na stress. So, ano ba yung formula ng stress? Stress is equal sa uh, force over area. Yung force na force over area, force is uh, P over the area. So, kung mapansin nyo, uh, nag-convert muna tayo ng mga units. Uh, di ba sa Pascal, ang unit is meter? O sa SI, is meter. Kaya nag-convert tayo. Then, uh, force is newton. Then, uh, Pascal, is uh, newton meter squared. So, kailangan muna nata tayo mag-convert. Then, So, kunin natin yung area. So, ano ba yung gagamitin na area? So, ano ba yung area na yan? So, since stress natin is a uh, normal stress. And normal stress, yung stress. Then, yung area na kailangan natin is uh, perpendicular doon sa force. So, area is uh, perpendicular doon sa Diba ba ganyan ang, ganyan ang notation ng perpendicular sa force P? So, ano yung area na yan? So, ito yun. So, ito yung area na perpendicular doon sa force P kasi yung stress na active dito is uh, normal stress. So, so, ibig sabihin niyan, pwede niyang i-compress or i-elongate niya yung tube. So, yan yung perpendicular area doon sa force. So, paano yung kukunin natin yung area na yan? So, stress, normal stress, is equal sa P over the, so ano yung area? So, uh, pi over 4, uh, d squared, diameter outside. So, diameter outside squared minus diameter inside. Uh, diameter inside is uh, 0.1 meter. So, 0 0.1 squared. So, 
ito na yon ito na yung area ng yan na yung shaded area so na yan na yung perpendicular area doon sa force so ito yan yan yung uh, kinula kinulayan natin ng block kasi sa normal stress uh, kailangan natin yung perpendicular area sa force Then, sub natin gamit yung calculator. Gamitan natin ng shift sub. So, stress is uh, 120 times 10 raised to 6. Alpha equals. Then, force P is 400 times 10 raised to 3 over the area uh, pi over 4 pi over 4 uh, d squared diameter outside squared is uh, yung d diameter outside gagawin natin x kasi yun yung hinahanap then minus 0.1 uh, diameter inside. Then, kung mapapansin nyo, uh, x squared siya. So, meaning, uh, meron siyang two solution. So, sa rule of mathematics, kung x squared yan, uh, dalawa yung roots niya, di ba, sa mathematics, algebra. So, pwede kang makakuha ng real and imaginary. So, pag sinabi imaginary, uh, yung maglalabas ang lalabas dito sa solution is cancelled so sorti tayo pag lumabas is uh, real pero pag uh, lumabas yung cancelled, ibig sabihin imaginary yung lumabas, so kakailangan natin uh, solve manually yung uh, problem so ito yung equation, so input niyan sa calculator so, pag cancelled, imaginary. Pag may lumabas na value, ibig sabihin real. Then, shift, solve. Solve for x equals. So, cancelled, ibig sabihin, uh, imaginary yung lumabas. So, kailangan mo siyang isolve uh, manually. So, hindi din natin yan isolve manual. Pero, papakita ko yung uh, solution. Para, mabilis yung discussion natin. Para makarami tayo ng problem. So, kung mapansin nyo, nag-cancel yung uh, solution natin. So, ito yung uh, Answer, uh, answer doon sa sa problem. So, ngayon, uh, i-verify natin kung tama ba yung uh, equation na ginawa ko. So, ang result dapat is yung D yung D na makukuha natin doon sa Yung D na makukuha natin doon sa equation na ginawa ko is in meter kasi nag-convert tayo. So, D. So, ang lalabas dapat doon is uh, D is equal sa uh, 0.11 uh, 119 3.5 Uh, meter. So, ngayon, i-verify natin yung 
So ngayon, i-verify natin yung equation na ginawa ko. So, 0.11935. So, tandaan nyo yan. So, ngayon, uh, edit lang natin to. So, dapat, pa nag-substitute ako ng uh, 11935 meter, is dapat nag-equal yan sa 120 times 10 raised to 6. Ibig sabihin, uh, tama yung equation na ginawa ko ito sa calculator. So, dapat mag uh, 120 times 10 raised to 6 yung answer. Kasi yung sa answer dito sa manual solution is Uh, 119.35 mm pero convert natin sa meter kasi doon sa equation na to is nakameter yan so dapat mag equal sa uh, 120 times 10 raised to 6 kasi base dito sa equation yung left side is equal sa right side ngayon tanggalin natin tong left side then calc uh, 119 119 Uh, 3.5 meter uh, equals so uh, base dun sa slow bus is hindi siya nag equal ulitin natin calc ok so uh, mali pala yung ano natin na ilagay so point Uh, 119 na uh, 35 kung may mm to mag move tayo ng tatlo pakaliwa para maging meter uh, equals so ayan so English so, so mag isang uh, 120 kung i-round up mo yan is 120 times 10 raised to 6 is uh, 120. 119.19 times 10 raised to 6 is equals to 120. So, nag 120. So, umikol siya dito sa left side na equation na 120 times 10 raised to 6 uh, pascal. Okay, so nag-equal siya. So, ibig sabihin, tama yung uh, nilagay ko na equation.